Welcome to your part two advanced PDO project. In this lesson, we're going to be creating a run query method under the PDO connection we created in a previous uh, tutorial. So um, just to give you a brief uh, or a quick overview of the run query, what it is, is basically any, every time you select update or select update insert or delete records will be referring to the run query on inside our uh, classes such as manage user or class users that php and uh, you can have more and you can grow from it and you can always derive from the pdo connection all right so let's go ahead and create that file and save this again you can save this one under the classes folder Wait a second, we're not creating anything. I'm sorry, I lost you there. We're creating a method under PDO class. So this is another protected function called run query. And this will accept two parameters, inputs, SQL and inputs, and this is a nullable value. Um, now let's get our PDO connection object and store it locally here. That would be PDO con. And what we want to do is check if is null the inputs. By default, it is inputs. If it's null, else, then if it's null, we're just going to create the uh, pass the, the, the statement to our PDO object. The way we do that is we say PDO uh, query and the SQL. And PDO query is a method built into PDO uh, uh, class. So we that one returns a statement. So we're gonna we want to store that one inside of our uh, into a into a variable, and that's it. Now if the user passed the inputs parameters and we all done that's when we want to run that one and we're gonna put this into try and catch block and again we're catching the PDO exception and we're just simply printing this out and we want to exit out their standard error and then under here, uh, you want to create a PDO, a prepared statement. So this is where we, pre we prepare the this statement SQL. And because we have values in our inputs, we also want to we want to pass that under our execute statement execute. Now statement. The prepare uh, I think returns true or false, so we want to check that one. To make sure that you know that the SQL has uh, valid that we're able to prepare this the SQL. So if statement, right? Else, so if there's no error, we can then go and say statement execute inputs right if there is an error go ahead and send a message to your user unable to or you can log this user somewhere else and able to prepare the query just like that all right and uh, so either way, we want to return the statement. Okay, and also let's uh, create run query. Uh, I guess the proper description would be insert create and delete. And 
delete query. All right, which accepts two parameters. And the first one would be string SQL. SQL statement. And the second parameter would be an array. Inputs array values. And we have a return of object um, which is the statement. Returns a an object uh, turns a statement video object all right it's very important that you create documentation when you're creating methods and classes it'll make uh, your life a lot easier when you're working with IDE that supports uh, intelligence um, so this one here we don't really need to worry too much about it so that pretty much summarizes our PDO connection. Um, now we created a run query, and uh, and that's pretty much it. So uh, if you want to see more, uh, subscribe and watch out for the part three of this lesson.